London is home to a world-class cancer care and research facility, which produces some of the country's leading studies on cancer treatment and prevention. Key in those research projects are graduate students from the University of Western Ontario's Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. Tonight, in our fifth installment of our series on graduate medical research, we take a look at a protein which seems to be a major player in the development of breast tumors. Blastoma protein here. This protein, called retinoblastoma, functions normally in the body to prevent uncontrolled cell growth. But researchers have found that in most so cancers, this protein's function is disrupted. So if you add these all together and you examine every tumor type that's out there, nearly all of them have found a way to get rid of what this protein does. So from the standpoint of understanding cancer, this is as fundamental as it gets. So we think it's really crucial that we understand every aspect of how this protein works because it's a great target for diagnostics and it's a great target for developing new cancer therapeutics. Graduate student Sarah Francis works with Dr. Fred Dick here in his lab at the London Regional Cancer Centre. She's looking at one particular part of the protein to see how it affects the growth of breast tumours. What we've done is we've um, changed a couple of the building blocks of the DNA so that um, where proteins normally bind to the protein, that it sort of is a little pocket and the, the proteins that normally would bind there can't because we've sort of changed the shape of the pocket. What she's found is that in mice with these changes made to the retinoblastoma protein, there are definite differences in the way the breast tissue develops. So far we've found that in the breast of the mice there are defects. Um, for instance, the ducts that make up the mammary gland, um, normally they're nice a single layer of cells, um, but in our mice we've found that there's more growth of these ducts, so instead of being a single layer, they grow into a, a thicker layer of, of cells. Um, and that's usually considered to be a precursor to cancer. And while Francis is working specifically on breast tumors, she says that any diagnostic or treatment options that may result from her work could be applied to any number of cancers. Because retinoblastoma is sort of a, a master regulator of the cell cycle, it means that it's applicable to pretty much most cancers. So we study the protein in order to better understand how it functions, because if we can understand how it functions, then we can design better treatments for cancer that um, allow us to gain back that control against the cancer.